In this two-part video series, we're going to see how to use Docker in development, which is using Docker locally to work on a project of your own in development. So what we want to do in this video series is just build up to what I have here, this sort of finished project or semi-finished project where I have PHP and Nginx running in a container and can develop off of that. So at the point here, which we'll build up to in this series is that I can run docker compose up-d. This will start my containers as defined by a docker compose file. And then I can just head on over to my browser, go to localhost, and I'll see my application up and running and I can just start hacking away at it. So in this series, we're going to see how to create Docker images and how to run them in Docker. And then we will move on to using Docker Compose to define how to spin up and run multiple containers in our environment here. So we don't need to remember a complex and long series of Docker commands to get our environment up and running every time we want to hack on some code. And along the way, we're also going to be talking about some extra topics like Docker networks, Docker volumes. And then finally, I'll move on even a little bit farther than what I have here and show some workflow stuff that I typically do on most of my projects. So in the next video, we are going to start by seeing how to run some basic Docker commands and build a Docker image to use to run Docker containers.